five years ago. On January 18th, 2018, I created this very maze right here. And every year, I always try to celebrate its anniversary on the exact same day. And well, this is the fifth year in a row. And probably the last time, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. This maze has been down here ever since that very day five years ago. As we all probably remember, this maze does have a few challenges, such as this lava challenge right here, where you have to go from stone block to stone block, avoiding the lava. Oh, and yeah, there's a, uh, there's Rez right there. I'll heal him up after this segment. And then originally, at, at the uh, middle part of the maze five years ago, there was just this random part where it was just over where you would just get a pickaxe and then you were good. But in reality, there was actually more to the maze than we thought originally. As we are all pretty much remembering by now, there at the end of the maze, there was two choices as we are all aware. One was going down this gigantic hole, which back in the day used to lead to the void, but now, thanks to Cave and Cliff's update, it now leads to a deep slate cave. I'm not even joking, this actually used to be the void, where you would fall out of the world and die. That's not a joke, look at my older videos prior to the Cave and Cliff's update. Of course, the other option, and my god this maze has truly gotten a bit messy, but uh, the other option was, well, <laughs> finding your way out of the maze, let me just kill this guy in the process, there we go. And, uh, you would make your way out to, well, what would be known a year later as the wilderness. And now, here we are, five years later, on Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Which, the original day this month was done was on Thursday, January 18th, 2018. As I just addressed earlier. And here we are with another anniversary party. And, wow. Five years in a row? I don't know how many more times I'm going to be able to do this. In fact, this might actually be the last one. Honestly? I don't know if I'm going to do this again after this year. I'm not going to lie. This is the fifth year in a row we're doing this. Genuinely, it still only makes sense to do it for the actual Island World's anniversary. So, I don't know if this is going to be the last one or not. I think I... Tease it a little in the uh, Zombie War episode, the episode prior to this, that this might actually be the last maze anniversary. Of course, if this does happen to be, of course, next year, if I don't do one, I will at least still mention it, of course, obviously. <laughs> That's if I don't do it again next year. Just note, this may or may not be the last time I'm doing this maze anniversary. I just... I don't know. I don't know if this should be it after all these years. Because this is the fifth time in a row I'm doing this. How many more times can we really do it? I'm only just saying. Not to be mean here. I'm just saying. That's it. Anyway, this has to probably be the biggest maze anniversary party of all time. And well, this design... Well, okay, not the port design, but if you look around... You might actually recognize some decorations in the background. Again, not here on the port. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is exclusive to here. But if you look around the island, there's some recognizable decorations that come from another time period. And, well, today is January 18th of 2023. But some of you may not realize that we actually traveled to this very day during the Operation Legos Island 2021 finale. That's right, this very day right here that this video is being recorded on. January 18th, 2023. Which was a future time period at the time. And ultimately, on this day, we went up against, you guessed it, Evil Cluck himself. And ultimately, this day has truly been changed forever because of that. As we are probably all aware, this day, well actually, May 31st, 2021, when we actually got to it, was affected by the future time period that we did in 2019, which was that day alone. So... It raises another question. 
Did this day get affected by that time period? Oh, heck yeah, it did! Every single room from that time period appeared here today because of that battle two years ago. Which means just like Memorial Day of 2021 on May 31st, we ultimately broke the timeline. Because of that battle, basically every single time period room from that future time period two years ago now actually appears on the actual day that we went to back then. Oh, dang it, it happened again. But honestly, I think it's actually for the better that it happened because oh my god, I forgot how awesome it was. The future time period for this back then was insane. And to now have it as the actual maze anniversary decorations? And the fact that I predicted the future two years in advance? That's another thing I just realized. I predicted the future! That's right! The island would look like this on this day! Dang! How the heck did I predict the future? I think I said that I think this might be what it looked like on this day if when we actually hit it. And I was right! And it actually does look like this! That is stupid impressive! How the heck did I predict that? Of course, the only design to be exclusive to now is the port design. Because, well, <laughs> back then, we didn't actually have a future port design for 2021. Because of the Operation Evil Cluck 2021. Uh, port design taking over the entire event, despite being in the past. So that is something. Now then, let's jump into it. Oh, and yes, as promised, I told you guys I would feed um, him and revive him. But speaking of which, we do gotta see which dog we get for the day. And uh, let's do that right now. So May's 5th anniversary party, January 18th, ending on the 25th. Yep, it is back to a week long. But as I addressed earlier, that might be the last time we do that. Because again, for all we know, this could be the last May's anniversary party. Again, I'm not sure. But it's crazy to believe that... This is the fifth year in a row I'm doing this. Jack Lantern and Lucky. Hey, Docs there actually re revived right now. Let's freaking go. Okay, so uh, I am going to go get those guys right now, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got those guys. So, yep, here we are. Yep, we got them, and I kept res because why not? Uh, with that being said, um... Yeah, we have a lot to do today, so let's jump into it. Because, well, there's actually more than just this May's anniversary party today. Uh, apparently, from what I am aware, go get 33. Thank you so much for pointing this out. I do not understand how it took this long to do it and accomplish this. But before I go any further, I need to secretly address them. Today is not just the five-year anniversary of the maze. Oh, no, no, no. And not only did that future time period from this day reappear because of our battle back then, but CoolGat33 informed me uh, via a short on his channel that I do not understand how it is humanly possible and how it took us this long, but... This is the 100th Legos Island event. Of course, this is not including mini events such as like the dog park anniversary, the event room anniversary, all the little mini events like 4th of July, Labor Day, all the little mini events that last like one day or two. Those don't count because those are just like one day mini events. No, we're talking the mainline events. The mainline events that last like a week or two. Such as like the May's anniversary parties for example. It has been almost six years since I created this world. And now we hit it? What? We should have hit this long time ago. We should have hit this maybe like two or three years ago. But I do not understand how it took us six years to hit the 100th mainline Legos Island again. Again, we do not count the anniversaries. 
the little one-day mini-event anniversary parties. Of course, the only anniversary party we always will count is, of course, the Legos Island anniversaries. But the point is, celebrate this occasion. I actually created something for this. And that is the 100 events hat, which is located in the exact same place that the Operation LI 2021 cap was available two years ago in this future time period of January 18th, 2023. So to uh, kind of as a little reference, I thought I'd just put it here. I know, I know it may look similar to other hats, but hey, I had to do something. Anyway, now that we have that out of the way, he asked me if I could create an item. I did. There you go. I seriously cannot believe this is the 100th mainline Legos Island event. We should have been at this way sooner. If I had to guess, it probably is because of Legos Island summer taking up three months of the year. Which is kind of what my plan was every year ever since I started it, and obviously it's still the case. It makes sense to have it for three months, because it would be the entirety of summer, at least where I am in the world. So that's not only why I like to keep it like that, but that might actually be the reason why it took us longer than we thought. Again, we're only talking the big main events of each month, not the little mini events as I addressed earlier. So maybe that also can explain why it took us this long. And to commemorate the original battle, which unfortunately the battlefield isn't up there because uh, that's completely irrelevant compared to this time period because uh, <laughs> we do not want to rem uh, mess up the timeline now after what we just did a few years ago. Even though it would kind of make sense though. Uh, point is, at least their evil cluck manner is in the exact same spot as the original. Just to remind us that, yeah, we were here at one point. That's also, that would require me to do even more work. But I think I've already done enough here. Of course, while making this, of course, I took multiple breaks in between, of course. I think I started this around, like, 11 a.m.? I took multiple breaks in between, of course, so I want to say that this took a good... I want to say eight to nine hours, if you count all the breaks. But, you guys get the point. Let's jump into it. So, first off, we have the May's 5th anniversary hat. Let's pick it up, and let's put it on. Replace the 100 events hat just for now. Oh yeah, I already have the May's 5th anniversary pickaxe, although there's going to be something a little off when we go to the village, I found out. Um, but here, we actually have the two original items from the original cave expedition five years ago. And that is what it looked like five years ago. That's going to be the only comparison I make, I promise. Um, but the point is, uh... Yeah, we can actually collect these items. The Miner's Helmet and the Torch from the original event. And don't worry, the Pickaxe is still here too from that original event. We're also going to put that on. Um, hold the Torch. So that's pretty cool. And now, of course, the main attraction itself. The Maze. Jumping down. There's nothing in the start area. But when we go into it... That's when the decorations start appearing, as you guys can see. There are, this is a really colorful maze, I'll tell you that one. Yeah, it's a really colorful maze. Oh boy, that's nuts. Okay, but yeah, we have actually every single colored light from all previous anniversary parties. That's a nice little fun addition. Including a new one, the Lantern. That was there the previous year. So we have combined all colors from each anniversary party over the years. To also celebrate. And don't worry, this is all over the maze, by the way. Yep, see? This is literally all over the maze. It is so freaking awesome how much this truly is. It truly is amazing. What I can truly do. And I love it. Actually, hold on. Let me actually change that. There we go. We need to have a every we need to have it a little more uh, organized here in terms of those lights. But anyway, 
with that being said, holy frick, the maze looks absolutely amazing for its fifth anniversary. I know, I know, it's all the previous lights from the previous anniversaries, but hey, we have to celebrate somewhere. And now I know what you're thinking, I could have made a completely new design. Which, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I probably should have done that. But, uh, hey, why not a throwback to all the other anniversaries prior to this point? I know, I know, I keep doing a lot of throwbacks on this world. I should probably stop doing that for the sake of this world. Although I have been doing a lot of new things lately, so maybe that is something. Yeah, I have been doing a lot of new things lately. Like, in the New Year's party, there was actually a recap of the previous year for once. That was new. Even though that's what we did in ZL2, but that you get the point. Uh, but it was a bit different. Anyway, uh, that's besides the point. Oh yeah, look out for ZL2 um, on January 19th for uh, uh, another video. That's going to be pretty sweet. Anyway, again, that's besides the point. Uh, we have Lucky down here. Um, so yeah, that is how the maze looks for its fifth anniversary, at least the first half of the maze, of course. Oh, come on. God dang it. Going in here, it is a clear throwback to the original maze end, where we can collect the pickaxe from the original event. However, there is one difference, and that's all the cakes around here. Originally, I was just going to do the original room with just, you know the pickaxes. But then I realized, no, I need to do more than that. But also, there is actually already one more dif one other difference if I did add those. And that is the fact that, well, yeah, the tunnel is back, but the fact is that that is blocked off entirely back here, you may notice. Yeah, we have the original bin from the original event. Again, the difference is the cakes. Which, fun fact, I've been in this room with the bin. I don't think it's actually been seen since the original event. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, wait, hold it! We visit the... Uh, the wait a second. I just came to a rem realization and uh, a little bit of a remembrance here. We visited the original Maze Day in Operation Legos Island 2020 Remaster. So we have seen this before. Just without the cakes, of course. So technically, this has actually returned once. In its original form in a time travel event. Outside of that, it has not returned in an actual event up until this point outside of the cakes. Because I need to do more than just this one room. Anyway, going down here to be able to get to the other side of the maze, well, that bin is literally blocking everything, as you could clearly see. Um, you can see that if we go over here, we have the rest of the maze all nice and colorful for its fifth anniversary. That is really, really awesome. Yep, the maze is literally still all extremely colorful, and it looks absolutely beautiful. And I love everything I did with the maze uh, this year around in 2023. It's crazy to believe that. This has been literally down here for five years. I'm not even joking. This has literally been down here for five years. And the fact it didn't get corrupted is also freaking amazing. Yeah, the fact that it didn't get corrupted in the 2019 corruption. That was awesome. This has literally been down here the whole time. Even when transferring my world. Uh, back in 2019 and 2021, respectively. Yeah, it has been down here since January 18th, 2018. Now, this fun fact, if you don't remember, I even said it in the original video when I first showed you it for the first time, but this was a two-day process. Uh, the first half of the maze. Uh, before the uh, maze finished room with the uh, box of... Ch of uh, Pickaxes. Yeah, it was a two-day process to make uh, the first half of the maze. I think the rest of it I finished around like the 25th or 26th, but I didn't show you it until February 1st because I forgot at the time. Anyway, that's it for this room. And actually, that is it for the maze in general, actually. Yep, that is literally it. So uh, let's get out of here. Yeah, that 
guy's gonna be somewhere. My god, though, this place is a mess. Well, we're out here. Of course, it's night. Like the original uh, January 18th, 2023 time period back then. But now since the actual day, yeah, it was probably as expected. But, uh, yeah, now we're just going to make our way out of here. Oh, uh, let's deal with that guy. Oh, never mind, I can say I can deal with him. I was just about to help out. Uh, with that being said, let's make our way back up. Oh, boy. Man. Man, oh, man. This is insane. It's seriously insane. So, yep, of course, we have happy 5th anniversary maze, of course. This is awesome. Of course, we have some cakes all over here, of course, to celebrate five years of this beautiful maze. And now that we have all the original items from the original party, that's awesome. I brought those back just for the sake of this anniversary. Because they technically haven't been seen since Operation that goes out in 2020 Remastered, but in actual reality, in the present, they actually haven't been seen until now. But yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, the Miner's Helmet has not really been offered that much in events. Outside of maybe like the second or third anniversary parties as well. And it's just the Miner's Helmet, not the rest of these. But now that we have the maze out of the way, you know, the main attraction of this whole party, we have the entire island to still go explore. Which is freaking awesome. Oh, uh, let's uh, kill this guy. Nice, we actually killed him. And we got a grass block in return. But, uh, <laughs> oh, we don't need it. But I do want this ender pearl right here. Boom! Nice! That's exactly where we needed to go next. So, the balcony is its design from the future time period in 2021, which was based off of this day. So it's as expected to see all these rooms here. Which is awesome. It's nice to see these rooms here. Of course, we won't find any items until we go to the lodge. But, as you guys can see, this is all a from the future time period in 2021 for January 18th, 2023. It's crazy to believe that I actually predicted two years ago that what if the island actually looked like this in 2023 on this day alone? It's seriously insane that I actually got that right. This will probably be the only time I get it right. I did not think the maze anniversary was going to look like this <laughs> two years ago. But, uh, hey! It did! Which is awesome. It's crazy to believe that I actually got it right. With that being said, what if the battle never happened, though? This probably would have looked all completely different. That's exactly what happens when you mess up the future. It starts appearing in the present. And that's exactly what we did back then. So, uh, you can thank me and Evil Cluck for all this appearing again. Oh, man, why do we go nuts? Hey, it's fun battling. Seriously, that battle back then was really fun. Also, there is no decoration down here whatsoever. So we can just get out of here. Except I forgot to unbury a certain cave. Oh, and the Cave of Adventure stuff is still here. There we go. There we go. I knew a hidden tunnel fell off. What about the other hidden tunnel? Nah, 
I don't think we need the hidden tunnel here. But this is purposely the ultimate maze anniversary party of all time. This is probably the ult the most ultimate one. Point is, this is seriously awesome. And with that being said, let's get out of here. You know, every time I say we would never see these future time periods again, that's technically true. But this is the second time we are seeing this time period. Normally, we're never supposed to see these future time periods after only one occurrence during Operation Legos Iowa. But, every time we hit the day that that future time period was based off of, and every time because we did the battle, you can guess what happens. I'll shut up about that now, thankfully. Anyway, the next place we are going to is the Lodge, which I know some of the snow has melted, but that's what happened back then. We have the May's 4th anniversary shirt, uh, sorry, the May's 5th anniversary shirt, my bad. Okay, I... Okay. Oh. Uh, I just lost the May's 5th anniversary pickaxe. Oh god. Oh yeah, you probably noticed. What the heck happened to all my weapons, by the way? You were probably noticing earlier. Uh, yeah, I had to purposely clear my storage. I wasn't doing that. Now, you may notice, all of these are actually in the exact same spots as the original time period. Notice? Of course, the armor obviously looks different, so it doesn't look exactly the same as the Operation Hawaii one. Of course. A few color differences. So it doesn't look exactly the same. We do not want to copy and paste here. Now then, the next place we are going to is, well actually, hold it, we didn't actually tour this place. Of course, we have the glowstone path from back in that time period. And we have all the beacons, which, fun fact, did you know this future time period, January 18th, 2023 time period, was actually where the beacons were officially introduced across the island. That wasn't the wilderness. You know the beacons that you kept seeing in a lot of events like in the village, lodge, and blacksmith shop and resort? You guys know that? Yeah, that's where this came from. This original future time period is where it came from. If you're all curious. So this is really special. I thought I'd just bring that up. Now, originally the lodge was futurized, but since that's the winter cabin, uh, it didn't get changed. All right, uh, actually, hold on. I want to go to the other side of the island first because I want to get that out of the way. Yet, yeah, we have the glowstone path. All right, here we go. Yep, the glowstone path here again. The only thing that's technically different here is the glowstone path from the original time period. Outside of that, yep, that is literally it. There is literally nothing else here. Oh yeah, I see that horse down there. Yep. That's basically what it looked like. Oh, but I think we might need to finish this though. I think it. I think the path actually extended to literally everywhere in this place. So uh, I forgot to finish it. Let's do that. There we go. That's it. That's literally all I needed to do. Of course, I'll plant back any snow that does melt in the process. But yeah, that's the original. How does it look? Looks beautiful. But yeah, this is the main anniversary where basically almost the entire island is decorated. Which is awesome. Okay, now we can head to the theme park. 
Although, if I remember correctly, I think this path was updated too. So I might need to change it in the process. And let me go ahead and do that. Alright guys, that is done. So, uh, I'm kind of glad I paused that because, yeah, it took a bit of time. So, here we go. Yep, here we are. Here we are again. It's crazy to believe. Holy frick. Here we are again, guys. Dang. That's insane. Yep. Here we are again. The glowstone themed theme park. Dang, man. Everywhere got affected again. That's insane. Oh. Let me uh, heal him up in the process. Let's do the same for him and him as well. Uh, we don't need another dock for a few months, so, uh, yeah. Get out of here. We're not getting another one until, like, Pi Day. At least that's confirmed by Cool Cat Freddy Free. And it honestly makes sense. We already have two Valentine's Day dogs and two St. Patrick's Day dogs. I think we're good. Oh, boy. We're going to be getting a lot more dogs compared to last year. I'll tell you that one. And we actually will be. Last year we only got like four. But yep, here is the original uh, design from the time period two years back. That is insane. Of course, back then I called this the bright future. And well, it made its comeback in the form of the actual day now. Because now it's this actual day now that this time period was based off of. It's nice to be on it's nice to be on the days that these time periods are based off of, because then you get to see them again. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the blacksmith shop. There's really nothing outside of this. And back in the original, this didn't exist yet. But the beacons did. Now, that's basically it. There really isn't much to this. Oh, and we do have to head over to the HQ for something. I'll tell you that. Anyway, there's really not much to say. Like the original. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing really in here. Except that I forgot to change this. Now, I know this might not have been a part of the original, but you know what? Frick it, it's the actual day now. I can do anything I want with it now. Yep, now that it's the actual day, I can do anything I want with this time period. With that being said, let's head off to the resort, which will look a little different compared to the original, as there are actually a few semi-differences. While everything basically from it is here, the difference is that this is all white instead of actual sand. This is because we are still in the winter season. And it will turn back into sand once the winter luau is over on the 4th of March. So that's the only difference. Outside of that, everything else is still here from the original time period. So that's pretty sweet. And you know what? I know I said I wasn't going to do another comparison, but you know what? Forget. Yep! This is how it looked. Wait, there were no beacons? Who cares? Anyway, the point is... Yeah, you can probably see a mega difference. Anyway, this is all made out of glowstone, of course. And it looks so awesome. And even the path is all made out of glowstone. Hold on, was it like that too? How did I think about it? Oh, it wasn't. But who says I can't make a ton of differences? Who says I couldn't change up the time period a bit by adding in a few differences? Yep, that's right. I did. Now, where are we going next, you're probably wondering. Well, I do have an answer for that. The Pet Cemetery Mountain, of course. It's 
Let's make our way up there. We can actually go all the way up there without even needing to stop once. At least with the two small bounds, because they are not up. Out of here, creeper. There we go. Thank God I wasn't in survival. Well, here's the maid's fifth anniversary pants. Let's put them on. And of course, we're going to have to change the shoes once we get down to the village. But, yep, here we are again. I know. That's so awesome. Anyway, as you guys can see, the Pet Cemetery Mountain has a ton of stuff on it. Yep, just the mountain has a ton of stuff on it. We have the beacon and everything. All from back then. When this was the future. Yep, back when this was actually the future. Uh, all of this was here. Yep, this was all back when this used to be the future. But now that it's the actual day, it's here again. Which is awesome. It still is awesome to see this again. Again, like I said earlier at the balcony, normally these are just a one-time thing. Oh, I don't think this was actually here. So let's, let's remove that. Even though that could have been like one little major difference, but uh, who cares? Here's the Bet Sanitary. And uh, I can tell you some of these guys weren't here back then, such as Hart. Or Holiday. Yeah, none of those guys were actually here. But yeah, it's nice to see this again. Yeah, it's nice to see this again. Seriously, this is the most insane I have ever gone for a maze anniversary party. It's just about a freaking maze, dang it. But when you have a time period based off of it, you have to go nuts. And yes, I know, I know, I said I was going to tone it down with the events. I hope this is the last one. I hope. Yeah, I hope this is the last one. Uh, before I actually start doing that, you know, properly. And, uh, permanently. Where I actually make these a bit smaller. Yeah, surprisingly enough, just... Doing this wasn't even that bad. But, uh, yeah. That's seriously awesome. Oh, dang, it's already 919 already? That's, that, that's insane. Anyway, let's head upstairs, because I've already spent enough time down here. And I just realized something. You know what else I just realized? This whole entire tour? Oh, you freaking bet I found out very quickly. Yeah, now I know something felt wrong. I knew something felt wrong. Alright, no, seriously though, what are your guys' thoughts on all of this? Comment down below, tell me what you think. It's crazy to believe that it took me that long to notice. Alright, let's get out of here. And now what we are going to do is, is I am going to head down to the village via here, since, well, it's already here, why not? Oh, come on, Lucky! Move! <laughs> Don't push me back. Don't push me back. Don't push me back. Can you move, bud? I did not mean to do that! Woo! 
I'll get going now, Mon Kart. And well. Wait. Uh, these banners weren't here in the original. This must be custom. And wait a minute. I have never actually seen these banners before. Oh. Maybe. Maybe we go to the village. Which, yes! Here it is! The village! Oh! Okay, we've never seen these banners before. We do have our last free item, which is right here. Okay, these are the anniversary shoes, which, here we go. Oh, wait, <laughs> sorry, right here. These are from the zombie war. And the armor is complete. Outside of wearing the actual hat, there we go. Maze anniversary armor is complete, but we have one other option. The 2023 Evil Sea Leader Ban- Place all of those with this name. Speaking of which, Evil 2023 Evil Street Leader banner. This technically is not supposed to be here, so we kind of can't collect it. What's really supposed to be here is the man's fifth anniversary pickaxe. But since it's been ultimately stolen, I have no clue where the hell that thing is. The fact that technically I got it right here. But the fact that it was supposed to be a free item right here alongside the shoes is something really off. Eh, it doesn't matter. While we are down here, we have the tunnels. Oh, there's even more banners. I think Evil Sea Leader put this here as a distraction. Because I feel... I think there's more here than I think. Well, we do have some ladders right here. And well, as usual, we have the tunnels. That's right, the tunnels. Of course, as we are all uniquely aware, this, of course, goes to right here. Of course, we will get to that in a minute. Oh, yeah! This I... Oh, my God. These are still here? <laughs> these are still... Those are still there from the original? Holy frick, man. We never moved on? Dang. Well, we do got a few other tunnels. Yeah, it leads up here. Well, we do have the coffee shop, which, well, it does have its respective tunnel. Yep, it does have its respective tunnel. From uh, back in previous May's anniversaries. Yep, back in its previous one. So uh, let's head uh, back. I think I saw another maze item from two year, from like three years ago. Anyway, here's the coffee shop design, which looks really freaking awesome, by the way. I know this looks really awesome. Yeah, seriously, this looks really awesome with that being said what do you guys think uh, comment down below and tell me what you think of this design it looks super cool let's move on and technically yeah the subway is decorated too technically if you do take a look at it from a perspective it is technically updated 
That's pretty sweet. Uh, this is updated too. I'll get to that in a minute though. Hmm. Yep, this is updated too with the respective uh, tunnel. Okay, what's with all the sand? Wait, what is with all the sand? Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's meant to be this. Technically, you're supposed to sneak under here, but... Okay. How long is this? I guess we could rework the tunnel? Because, uh, now... We have to purposely go underground. Oh, wait, we already are underground. We have to go even more under. Just by like one block though. Damn, these are still here from three years ago? How did I not get rid of them? Well, that's one way to get into another room. Here's the first house. Anyway, what are your thoughts on this house? Comment down below. Tell me what you think. Now, even though the time period back then was based off of the maze anniversary, none of the maze anniversary stuff was actually here. This was because we were focusing on Operation Nicholas Island at the time. So that would make sense back then. Um. Anyway. That's, that's the point. Uh, that's how the room looks. It uh, looks pretty sweet. Of course, I think the last room in this entire event is the... Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the house. With that being said, what are your thoughts? This is it. The final room in this whole party. Technically. Because we're actually not done with this video. You see, even though the clothes shop wasn't decorated, surprisingly enough. Uh, <laughs> oh, we are not done. We got all the beacons here. That is pretty sweet. We even got them all over here. And all over here as well, like the original. Which is super awesome. It's nice to see all these again. Okay, how did these guys get on the low health that quickly? Well, guys, I do have one last thing. Technically, I will hold the pickaxe for the sake of the rest of the video. But, I do have something, and man, I do need to really update that coaster. Uh, cause yeah, it's way past Christmas. Let's shoot down this guy. God dang it, he moved. Thanks. Okay, so uh, I headed I headed over here for a reason. Let's kill that guy. Kill this guy as well. Nice. Okay, I did head over here for a reason. I do have a reason because while we were in the maze, this happened. And while we were in the caves. Yeah. There is no ladders around here. Yeah, there are no ladders around here. See, the thing is, despite having night vision on, it's actually extremely dark in this room without it. That can explain all the zombies and spiders. But, there is something missing. And that's basically the entire attack board. As you guys can see, Evil Street Leader took apart the entire HQ while we were inside both the maze and the caves respectively in the village. Which is pretty crazy. I mean, look at that. Ultimately, the HQ ultimately got wrecked. I was supposed to tell you that after you left the village. 
That's okay, it's your secretary. I already knew ahead of time because I came down here earlier and I found all of this. But uh, I thought I'd just show all of you guys as well. But yeah, I do remember you were supposed to tell me that it's your secretary, but I already knew ahead of time. Anyway, uh, at least you can at least tell me again just to remind me, even though we can all clearly tell. But uh, thank you for reminding me. Uh, point is, the entire HQ got wrecked, and this is about to lead into HQ Expedition 2023, which starts exactly a week after this party, on January 25th through February 1st, by Evil Soup Leader. He even stole the Evil Cook's spawn egg, and the same can be said for the chests. You may notice the spawn egg is not in here, but later on, if I had to guess, more things are going to get destroyed and stolen. Now, unlike last year's HQ Expedition, it's not going to be like where the whole HQ got wrapped. No, this is completely different. You may notice the entire HQ got completely torn apart, as you can see. Every single sea lantern, except for those uh, all the way back there, uh, are gone. He literally destroyed every bit of them. And stole the Evil Cluck's spawn egg, which, you know what? Frick him anyway. <laughs> you know what? Good one on you, Evil Sea Leader. We don't care about that guy. At least, right now. So, uh, that one I'm cool with. Uh, because <laughs> we'll eventually meet up with him again later in the year. Uh, lastly, the one other thing I am not impressed with is the fact that the entire attack board, basically, you remember this all used to be all red? Yeah, you can tell it's completely gone, and all the red parts are gone. Which is, uh, yeah... Something. This looks really weird. The point is, that is it for this entire episode of Legos Island. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you all in the next episode on January 20th. Where we will still have this party going on. Of course, we'll have it going on for a whole week. Until the 25th. So yep, prepare to see this party in like a few more episodes. In like three more episodes, I think. After this, so we're only going to have this here for four episodes. Hey, that's completely fine by me. But, dang, that was a huge party. With that being said, happy fifth anniversary to the maze. We'll be back next year with six years. Although, I don't think there's going to be an anniversary party. Because, again, I think I said this might actually be the last one. Because, uh, genuinely speaking, I think... I think five of these, I think, is enough. Because, holy frick, man. That's insane. But, again, if I don't do one next year, I'll at least still mention it. It's kind of funny that I think I'm going to stop doing them. Because next year, the sixth year anniversary, lands on the original weekday that I created the maze. A frickin' course! Anyway, that's besides the point. I'll see you all next time. Like and subscribe. And what is your favorite room of this party? I'd love to hear it. And well, I think I'll have the maze open a lot more this year. Just thought I'd bring that.